Yo, what's happening, YouTube? I'm Mr. Equalizer. I'm coming back with another video for you here today. I'm going to give you what I feel is the best controller settings in Modern Warfare 3. Let's hop into the video. I'm actually playing on a PC, so these are all the settings for... Um, all the PC players out there. So I'm pretty sure the settings are uh, similar to PlayStation and to uh, Xbox as well. All right, so when you jump into uh, Modern Warfare 3, we're gonna head on over to the settings and I'm gonna give you uh, what I feel, like I said before, what I feel the best settings are uh, for your controller. When you go to the layout button, the edit button layout, I'm running tactical flipped. I used to run default flipped in previous Call of Duties, but I feel tactical flipped is, is the best option for me. It, it is a little bit different from the other options, but go with tactical flip. I feel that's the best solution. When I'm rocking tactical flipped, I also like to come in here to the flip L1, R2, and R1, R2. I turn that on uh, only because of the fact that uh, my PS5 controller does not have paddles. Instead of my triggers on my PS5, these are meant to throw my stun grenades, my trophies. That's what I'm using for, for my actual trigger, trigger controls right here. When I'm aiming, I'm using L1 and R2. Uh, excuse me, L1 and R1. That's what I'm using right here. So when I'm holding my controller, I'm holding it, I don't know if you can see it, but I'm actually holding it uh, like this. Kind of like this. So and I'm not using it like this. When I'm aiming, I'm actually like this, if that makes sense. That's what I have it on. I have it actually flipped. If I'm using my Elite controller, I'll turn this off right here because I got the paddles on the back. So I, I don't have to have that turned on because I use my paddles for everything. And uh, the trigger aspect on these is really sensitive. Heading on over to the uh, stick layout preset. I uh, keep that as default. I don't do anything with that. I turn the vibration off. I don't feel like it's something that I should have. And I don't think you should have it either. But uh, again, that's personal preference. I try to eliminate as much distraction as I possibly can. If my controller's vibrating all over the place, I feel like it's going to take away my focus. So I don't want to have any distractions with anything like that. So I just turn that off uh, for the trigger effect. I have that turned off. This is actually a new feature in the uh, dead zone inputs. Uh, I've actually have not tested the uh, test stick dead zone. I'm not even sure what that is, to be honest with you. It's actually something that looks pretty cool. I haven't had a whole lot of practice on it, so maybe I'll make a separate video on that. I think it's just adjusting your your sensitivity in real time. How quick it moves from side to side and whatnot but for right now i'll just go ahead and turn that off for my left stick min uh, i have that at an eight for my left stick max i keep that on 70 my right stick min is at 13 my right stick max is 99 and my left and right triggers are at 13 each i try to keep my left stick and right stick min as low as you possibly can to help avoid stick drift but my controller has been through uh, a couple call of duties now so it's got some miles on it. I'm probably gonna have to replace it, uh, switch it out for something else. Uh, unless I, you know, like I said, come rank play time, I'll switch to my Elite controller. But for right now, uh, the sensitivity is not as uh, great as it used to be. So I have to up these up a little bit. So the name of the game is the lower, the better, just to prevent stick drift, as long as you can get these without having any stick drift. Holding all over to aiming. So my horizontal stick sensitivity, um, I have that as a five and my vertical sticks, uh, vertical stick sensitivity, I have that as a five as well. I try to keep it somewhere between four and six. Sometimes I'll lower it to a four if I really want to control my, my recoil and I don't want to feel like I'm aiming all over the place because sometimes there are times where I just feel like I'm not aiming as, as straight as I should be. So just lower the sensitivity a little bit. I try not to go above six. I think six is the happy medium. If you go any higher than six, you know, to me, it, it, unless you practice at that and you get used to that high sensitivity, that's fantastic. But I think if you if you want to uh, have good control, then I would say probably a five or a six or even a four even. But if you're struggling with your aiming, turn that down. ADS sensitivity multiplier. Uh, I don't do anything with that. We just keep that as. Uh, set to one uh, sensitivity multiplier here. I have that all just set to 1.00 as well. So I don't adjust anything with that vertical uh, aim axis. 
I have all that as standard. I don't mess with anything with that. Tactical stance sensitivity multiplier is at a one. Uh, aim response curve type. Uh, again, I'm gonna leave this and suggest that you also leave it as dynamic. I feel like that's still the best uh, way to go. For the uh, ADS sensitivity multiplier focus is a one. ADS sensitivity transition timing is instant. Custom sensitivity per zoom is off. I don't do anything with that. Target aim assist, if you're playing uh, on controller, uh, turn that on. Uh, aim response or aim assist type is gonna be black ops. You could leave it as default. I did play as default in the last Call of Duty, MW2. You know, I, as far as it, uh, uh, if that's going to make a difference between Black Ops and default, I'd say pick whatever uh, works best for you. For me, Black Ops is the way to go because it's, you know, your traditional um, slowdown when it comes to your aiming, especially if you're near targets uh, and things like that. So I feel that Black Ops for now is going to be your best bet. And third person ADS correction type is assist. Motion sensor behavior is off. Motion sensor advanced settings. Uh, I don't have anything with that as well. Moving over to gameplay, my automatic sprint is gonna be automatic tactical sprint. That's what I recommend that you have as well. Auto move forward is off. Tactical sprint behavior is single tap run. Grounded mantle is off. Automatic airborne mantle is off. Automatic ground mantle hang off slide and die behavior uh, is tap to slide uh, plunging underwater i have that as trigger parachute auto deploy is plane only sprinting door bash is on ledge climb behavior is mantle only slide cancel sprint is on uh, aim downside behavior is hold change zoom activation is uh sprint tactical sprint focus or excuse me equipment behavior is hold uh, weapon mount activation is ads melee uh, weapon mount exit delay is medium tactical stance activation is ads down button tactical stance behavior is on toggle interact reload behavior is tap to reload armor play behavior is apply all ads stack swap is off backpack control directional buttons uh deleted ammo weapon switch i have that on quick c4 detonation i just leave that as grouped uh, manual fire behavior is press uh, as far as the vehicle behavior um i have that for the camera i have that a short delay camera initial position is free look and lean out activation is melee uh scoreboard map stats behavior is toggle ping wheel delay is moderate and double tap danger ping delay is moderate kill streaks wheel behavior is hold if these settings helped you in any way shape or form let me know in the comments below did the settings help you or did you tweak something and improve it either way let me know if you enjoy the content that I have presented to you here today, like and sub to the channel for more content just like this in the future. I'm Mr. Equalizer, and we'll see you all on the next video. I'm out.